Couple things really stuck out in my mind. First of all, uh, when uh, when media or you know kind of public was uh, was around, he uh, he had an ability to uh, pretend that uh, he didn't speak much English at all, uh, which uh, I found very amusing. And uh, and you know his kind of getting to know him uh, when in the settings, uh, smaller was better. You know, really for for him, he didn't really like. Uh, Kind of big, big groups, and you know, really a lot of uh, a lot of, of a spotlight kind of shone on on him. I really enjoyed playing in front of him because uh, a, a variety of factors. Actually, uh, even though he pretended not to speak uh, English off the ice, he was actually the most vocal goalie I've ever played uh, played with on the ice. He was always talking to you if you were blocking him, uh, if a shot was coming, and you were in the way. He would let you know if you weren't aware of somebody. Maybe swinging in behind you, he would yell at you and let you know. And all that uh, communication uh, actually uh, really helped in uh, providing a lot more confidence and uh, kind of a really good relationship. So I, I really enjoyed that that part of it. It gives not only me as a, as a defenseman, but the whole team confidence that we can play a solid game and have an ability to, to win because uh, for the most part, in, in those years that we had them, uh, you have a better goaltender than the, uh, the than the team you're facing. Kiprasov looks for it. Linden! Oh, Kiprasov falling! He had a position, and he still gets it! If you look at his numbers, he was actually a very durable goaltender playing a lot of games every year. And I asked him once about it, and he said, you know, the first thing I do when I get up is stretch. And I stretch for uh, almost an hour just, just at home. I watched a funny little interaction with him one time with the goalie coach in that the goalie coach came in and, and mentioned to him that he wanted to, to do some video with Mika. And Mika said, you know, um, uh, I can come in there, but uh, I, I've actually already studied all the shooters. And he, so he taped all the previous games and would watch all the shooters. So he was extremely well prepared. Jared's virgin wrist shot, tip, brunette in front, Kiprasov kicked it up. There was a bit of a situation, uh, one practice where, uh, you know, Mika was, uh, was just kind of having fun and he was he was doing I would say his best uh, 80s goaltender uh, kind of uh, impersonation where he was kicking rebounds out with his uh, with his stick uh, out to the uh, to the blue line on point shots uh, us D-men were taking on him and Daryl Sutter was getting increasingly uh, more and more perturbed as this was going on so he calls uh, the goalie coach Dave Marcoux at the time to come and talk to Mika about controlling his rebounds so we're watching all this. So Dave Marku goes over there, chats with Mika. You can see Mika nodding his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next shot comes around. And what does he do? He kicks the puck right out to the blue line again to have a little fun. Well, Daryl got so mad, he, he actually shot a puck uh, at Dave Marku at the time. And you could see Mika just laughing and giggling behind his, his mask. So not only did he like to prepare and, and alter competitive, but he also liked to have a little bit of fun. And uh, that was a, it was a really good mix and probably uh, one of the reasons why uh, most of his teammates or all of his teammates enjoyed him uh, the, way, uh, the way we did.